In today's wrap-up, Armenia will send humanitarian assistance to Lebanon. Armenia's CRISP company receives an investment of $5 million. Former Yerevan mayor Robert Nazarian has been arrested. Half a million dollars has been allocated to repair border villages damaged during the skirmishes. China plans to construct a $10 billion smart city in Armenia. And the emergency state has been extended for a fifth time. During a meeting of ministers today, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said that Armenia will send humanitarian aid to Lebanon. This comes after a massive explosion rocked Beirut, leaving hundreds of thousands displaced and over 130 dead. Deputy Prime Minister Tigran Avignan confirmed that the aid packages will start arriving in Beirut on Saturday. Moreover, the High Commissioner for Diaspora Affairs, Zare Sinanyan, will fly to Beirut and meet community leaders and assess the damage. Pashinyan expressed condolences and said, quote, Armenia stands by our compatriot brothers and sisters in Beirut, and every effort will be made to reach them and help them to get out of this difficult situation. A fundraiser has also been set up by the All Armenian Fund, which is now open for donations. Armenia's Minister of High Tech Industries, Hagop Arshakyan, wrote in a post on Facebook that a Yerevan-based company called CRISP has received an investment of $5 million. The company had already been spotlighted by Forbes magazine, which wrote in an article that the company is one of the 40 most promising AI companies in 2020. CRISP itself is a noise-cancelling application designed for online conferencing. The application has grown significantly in one year, going from zero to 600 corporate subscribers. The application was especially useful for people who, due to the pandemic, work from home and make business calls. Calls. Former mayor of Yerevan, Robert Nazarian, has been arrested. The news was confirmed by the press office of the Special Investigative Service. Nazarian served as mayor of Armenia's capital between 2001 and 2003. He also held the position of chairman of the Public Services Regulatory Commission between 2008 to 2018. Though the CIS hasn't provided any details yet, reports have emerged that Nazarian is facing allegations of fraud related to his tenure as chairman of the Regulatory Commission. The Armenian government will provide over half a million dollars in order to conduct repairs in the border villages in the region of Tavush. The area, which is very close to the state border between Armenia and Azerbaijan, was the site of skirmishes last month. Many settlements in that part of Tavush were thus subject to shelling by Azerbaijani forces. The funds will be used to repair damaged residences in Aikepar, Nerkin, Karmir, Akhbur and Chinari, as well as to fix damaged schools, shelters and other buildings. According to reports, China is planning to invest over $10 billion into the construction of a new smart city in Armenia. The whole project may last 15 years, but an agreement was signed between representatives of both China and Armenia. The plan is to have a city which uses scientific innovations such as smart agriculture, AI and renewable energy. The city will eventually be able to house 15,000 residents, with planning and concept design set to begin in 2021. Deputy Prime Minister Tigran Avignan has confirmed that Armenia has extended the state of emergency for a fifth time. The emergency state will last for a further month. However, the government is mulling, lifting a number of pandemic-related restrictions. These include the ban on the entry of foreign nationals, public rallies and certain exports. This comes as the number of daily new COVID-19 cases continues to fall. Health authorities today confirmed 233 new cases of COVID-19. Two more deaths and 706 recoveries were also recorded, meaning the number of active cases now stands at 7,000 263.